This is Surf Radio from the Standard Hotel, Hawaii, with Lee Higgins. Surf Radio. Our local photographer, Patrick Jacobs. Good morning. Good morning, Lee. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Glad to see you. Did you hear this morning? Yes, of yes, course. A little good. bit gel. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're here today because you're doing an exhibition here at the Standard Hotel, Hin coming up. But I'm going to chat about that in a moment. Mm. But you've been out and about traveling around Thailand again, haven't you? Yes. Uh, Trot. Uh, we, we went. We followed the coast uh, basically all the way to uh, Cambodia. Wow. Okay. So I wanted to shoot some some waterfalls. There are two really big waterfalls in that area. Uh, if you follow the coastline, and then um, I wanted to document more a little bit more about the methods that fishermen use, how they get their boats in, how they process the crabs and whatever you have. So this is pretty untouched area down around on yeah, your way to Cambodia, th- there isn't it? There weren't too much. Too, there weren't too much tourists. Uh, we, at, at one point, we stopped at the. There's a Santara Hotel. Yes. And they were like, "Oh, we have guests. <laughs> 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 no, it's for a coffee, and we want to go to the toilet." <laughs> <laughs> oh, they would have went, mm, "There goes my my budget for the day." <laughs> and so, tell us a little bit about some of the interesting things that you saw on this trip. Oh, um, fishing with a crossbow right. um, from a bridge. It's, uh, they, they were standing like 15 meters away and, and they, they shot a 15 centimeter fish. It was amazing. I've never to, seen that. Well, I know it, it exists and they also do it here. Okay. But to be able to catch them doing it, that's another thing. Of course. I mean, I, I, I've heard of it and there are different kinds of crossbows, uh, even with a rifle where they just put an arrow on it. Um, but this was the first time I was able to document it. And I saw on your Facebook page some beautiful pictures of food. Oh, well, if you're following the coastline, you're not going to eat steak. No, that's right. So well, you should. Seafood, seafood. Yeah. And you have all these kinds of shells and, and, and all these different methods of, of preparing food. Well, well you know. Yes. Um, every region has its own little differences in 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 preparing stuff and and so we we had wonderful food yeah what and a it journey. was usually on a rainy lunch time oh see everybody <laughs> can make the most of rainy season here in thailand can't you right? yes you can you can always eat take photos whatever you know there's things that you could yeah. be doing so we're here today to talk a little bit about your upcoming um exhibition here at the standard tour here and tell us a little bit because this is your second one isn't it uh, this is the second one uh, in uh, in the standard. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, November mm-hmm. 10 to 12 mm-hmm. and September 15 to 17, I will having um, two exhibitions okay. here in the standard. So November and December. Yes. And what's it called? Because you always have a bit of a theme, don't you? <clears throat> um, this time it will be on canvas, so it's 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 much more approachable than okay. than the last one. Okay. Um, also, the prices are going to be a little bit lower. Okay. Um, so, but it's it's going to be on canvas, and it's called um, Hua Hin Moments Frozen in Time. Okay, so only Hua Hin yes. captures. Wow, because I think last time you did a little bit around around Thailand, yes. didn't you? But I, I think that would be very very special. So we'll come back and talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Mm-hmm. I've got another. St- we're going to take a short break, okay. and I've got another song coming up that I think you're going to like. It's Ed Sheeran, Photograph. Oh, click, click. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about a book that you're doing. You're doing another book, aren't you? Yeah, I'm doing my second book on, on Hua Hin itself. Right, because your first book was, was about... on the, the fishermen in Hua Hin. Right, okay. And um, so many people ask me, like, why don't you do a book on Hua Hin? And, and I did a little bit of research on how to approach it, how, what should I put in there? And I came up with 15 chapters. Wow. <laughs> this is like the, the train station is going to be in there, and a little bit of the history, temples, beaches, food, sports. There are so many things that, and, and areas that you can go to in, in the neighborhood. So it's, it's like a little tourist attraction in itself. It is, basically, it is... Um, a tourist it's not a touristy book but it's it's my view on on Hua Hin mm. the way I look at Hua Hin just going into the soils and uh, the eye is going to be in there uh, yes. you know there, there's so many things um, in, in Hua Hin that that are fascinating but also the people and how long has it taken you to pull all of this together 
Is oh, it a this, long process? No, this time it was it was easier because um, once you have you have you've done one book, the second one is 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 much easier. Well, what I noticed about this book is that you've done obviously more photos, but there are more collages in there as well. So yeah. many different aspects of a, a topic, which looks really interesting as well. Yeah, be, well, just if you if you talk about like, um, for instance, food. I mean, one picture on a page doesn't work. Sometimes you have to you have to make a collage where you can go like, oh, I can do three or four on on the same food topic. Yes. Well, I think your book this time is very emotive. Not that that last one wasn't, but this one to me captures even the next level of Hua Hin. Mm. And so when is it due out? When can we get a copy of this? I hope it's going to be on the market somewhere in November, beginning December. Yes. Fingers crossed. Yeah, good Christmas present, no mm -hmm. doubt. So uh, we'll get you back when we're a bit closer to releasing that. But um, I'm going to take another short break. I'm going to play another song, just a dedication to you, Patrick. It is Ringo Star Photograph. And we'll come back and we'll talk about the calendar and also about your exhibition again so stay with me mr patrick jacobs about all things photography uh your new book that's coming out mm -hmm. plus you also have got another calendar happening is that correct yes the calendar is out right um, with bible now yes it is um i started selling it two days ago okay and the first copies are already gone <laughs> right um, well, I suppose for people also <coughs> sending them back to Europe or Australia. Oh, there, there's so many people that go like, oh, this is a good Christmas idea and, and I, I want to have two or three. Or yeah, that's good. And you also uh, give some of the um, income to charities around Hua Hin, don't you? Yes. Um, this year, the charity that, uh, that I've chosen is um, Hua Hin Heroes. Okay. Because they do tremendous work and, 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 and supporting a, a local school and stuff like that. And this was what I was doing with my first book as well. Yes. Um, donating to a local school. So, um, yeah, um, calendar, it's, it's only one size right, this okay. year. It's, it's a desktop. Uh, selling price for 50 and 50 baht goes to the charity. Okay, That's fantastic. 500 printed. That means 25,000 baht will be donated to who are in Heroes. Yes. Well, thank you very much. That's fantastic for mm. them. And uh, they're a great organization. They've been in here chatting with us as well. So really pleased that uh, you're giving into that charity as well. And tell us a little bit more about the exhibition that you're doing here at the Standard Hua Hin. It's on canvas, like I said before. Um, 15 to 20 pieces of uh, will be on display. Um, they will be available as soon as the um, exhibition stops. Okay. I mean, you cannot walk out when you decide, I want to have this one, but they're all for sale, yes. And um, you're doing two dates, aren't you? Um, I'm doing uh, November and December. In my mind, November is for the local people, yes. for the expats that are living here, and, yes. and December. I'm, I hear so many people on, on my Facebook page where they go like, oh, we, we're not here and, and, and December would be ideal and stuff like that. So I decided, okay, let's do another one in December. And they were very welcoming to the idea of having me twice. Yeah, so. no, it's good. I think uh, the standard Ho Hin is have, having your exhibition here is a great idea. And mm. I think uh, we'll get uh, behind it as the dates get closer to, uh, you know, make sure that we're advertising uh, your uh, exhibition so people can come along Thank and you. see your work. And no doubt they can buy a calendar or your book will be ready by then, maybe. I hope so. But if, if, it, if it's not ready, you can already sign in. Right, okay. You can pre-order it. Okay. Well, I, think I already have like uh, 20 or 25 people pre-ordering. Yeah, well, you know, you may not get away with uh, taking that uh, sample book away with you today. <laughs> I might be snavelling <laughs> at it. <laughs> 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 yeah. But Patrick, thank you so much for coming in and chatting with us about not only your book and your calendar, but the exhibition that you're having here. And uh, we love looking at your photos. So thank you very much for contributing. And also, from my point of view, Hua Hin is very, very beautiful. And you bring out the best of Hua Hin. Oh, so. thank you. No, it's great. So thank you very much, Patrick. Thank and, you. And uh, no doubt we'll see you very, very shortly. Have a nice Sunday.